Hey everyone, I just got done beating Ninja Gaiden, um, the first one, and boy do I have a lot to talk about. So I want to fair warn and give you a fair warning. If you haven't played this on PS4 yet, um, I would strongly recommend you not watch this review if you don't want to be spoiled because there is going to be a lot of spoilers in this review. Let's get to it, shall we? Hello everyone, Dragon Souls here, and welcome, welcome, welcome to my review, that's right, my review of Ninja Gaiden. I'm going to give you the bad, the good, and the terrible shit that was in this fucking game. <clears throat> and trust me when I say, I did not hold any punches back. I let it all out, okay? So we will get to, um, we will get to what, what I think about, so we, we will get to, uh, if I, what, if I recommend anybody buying this game, and I will also get to what I rate this game, okay, or give it, or what score did I give it, okay? We'll get to that here in a few minutes, as soon as you get done watching this video, so take a look. Hello everyone, Dragon Souls here, and welcome to my review, that's right, my review of Ninja Gaiden. Uh, what I think about it, good and bad. Um, and I'm not gonna hold any punches back, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna hold anything back whatsoever. I'm not gonna kiss the game's ass or the developer's ass, okay? Uh, I'm gonna tell you like it is, okay? Um, <clears throat> now I, <clears throat> now some people may say, um, well I'm about, to, well I'm about to say some people may disagree with me and that's perfectly fine, uh, you have your options, you know, and, 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 
choices, you know, and I have mine. Um, you have your opinions, and I have mine, okay? Um, now, I really enjoyed this game. I really did. Uh, despite um, all the bad shit that's in the game, you know, um, like um, um, the auto uh, auto saves that are not in the game whatsoever. Um, there's there's no auto saves whatsoever. They they never had it in this game of, of Ninja Gaiden One. I played uh, played a little bit of Ninja Gaiden Two and Three. They have uh, auto check uh, auto ch uh, auto save uh, saves in the game in them games. Okay, so we're not gonna uh, even go there on them too because I hadn't even beat them yet. So. We are here to talk about this one here, Ninja Gaiden 1, okay? Now, um, this game came out back, uh, as said, the game came out, uh, came out back in 2004, okay, for the PS3, okay? Now, I looked at the game and it said that uh, the Ninja Gaiden game, uh, for the PS4, that is, Came out back uh, uh, for Ninja Gaiden One came out back in 2007 to 2020, 2021 of this year. Now here's the thing is, yes, it came out. The game for PS4 did come out earlier this year. Okay, uh, it used now. I have played one of the Ninja Gaiden games in the past. I think it was on PS3. Or PS2, I'm not really sure, and I don't remember if it had checkpoint uh, uh, auto save in the game or not at all. But I do know that um, this game did not have it at all, and I remember uh, I and I thought I uh, said I was saying I don't know if I uh, I don't I don't know if I played this game or in the past or not. It doesn't look familiar. And after playing from start to finish, I realized I've never played this game before at all. Uh, it's not one of the Ninja game, Ninja Gaiden games I've ever played. So, uh, yeah, it was a total new uh, uh, experience for me. And uh, quite frankly, uh, half of the times I was bored. I didn't. Uh, I, I mean, I felt I felt it. You know, I was enjoying it but at the same time um i was really getting bored of it for a good for a little bit you know until i got uh, until i was getting further into the game okay now when you get into an area if if you don't if you when there's an area did you as you say that uh when you uh, manually you know and if you go so far you're looting and looting, looking around, exploring, looking around, fight enemies, you know, grinding, whatever you know. And you go so far, and you don't say, and you don't save your uh, your game, you lose everything and your progress, which means you had to redo the the whole thing all over again. That sucks. Now I'm gonna get to the boss now because you're seeing right now as, as the boss, or should be seeing the boss. Um, um, this boss fight right here, uh, it in a way, uh, I, since it was my first time fighting that boss, it really wasn't that hard to beat, you know, but, uh, since it was my, actually was my first time fighting that boss, it was kind of hard to do. Some bosses in the game are puzzle bosses, just like it is in Dark Soul and in all the Dark Souls and Demon Soul games, you know. Or Bloodborne, you know, they have puzzle, puzzle, puzzle bosses in my area too. Um, but yeah, they have auto, and they have auto, they um, they have puzzle bosses in the end in, in this game as well, you know. And and how I say that for is because you have to choose, pick which weapon that does more more damage to the uh, to the bosses than uh, than than any other ones. One thing you cannot do is uh, when it comes to throwing like uh, ninja stars or or shoot arrows or 
or anything like that, or, or spear, shoot spears, you know, uh, at the bosses. Some bosses it doesn't work. Some some of them it does. Like the helicopter, for example, you can sit here and 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 do it and, and shoot and shoot air and different arrows at the at the uh, helicopter and blow it up. Uh, pretty cool. And at first, it was hard as hell, you know, but uh, come to think come to think of it, it actually was pretty good. It actually was pretty good, uh, really fun. I really enjoy. It. I kind of enjoyed it. But here's the thing is, if you don't, and once you beat them, when you beat some bosses, and you don't say, uh, manually save, um, and you die, you had to refight that boss again, and that, that really sucks. It really does, but, um, uh, yeah, in this game here, uh, you can, uh, try, it, you, you don't play as hard, you don't just play as him. Uh, in certain play, in certain in certain chapters, you play as a blind woman, uh, and her name is Rachel. And let me tell you something: them two women in this game, the the ninja girl is hot, good looking, mm -mm, so good looking, and the uh, Rachel blonde headed girl is hot and good looking as well, sexy mama. And uh, let me tell you something. With uh, with her, the uh, blonde-headed girl Rachel, you can actually play as her, and she is a badass bitch when it comes to fighting. She knows how to. She knows how to. She knows how to fight and everything. She uh, you can level her uh, her character. You don't level her. You don't level her character. She uh, she levels up herself, you know. But uh, you can level up her weapon. You know, you can explore, you can explore, do all kinds of looking around, you know, uh, picking up things like, like you can with him. Everything you can do with him, you can do with her. It's pretty damn good, you know, and um, and some and sometimes even fight bosses, like you know, uh, even even you even fight uh, fight her 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 sister, her own sister, you know, which is pretty cool, you know. And, and it makes you think, well, and it also makes you think if you, and it, and that, uh, if you, if you, if you, if you got her, you know, but all of a sudden it shows the cutscene and it shows that, um, that she lost and everything. Uh, storyline in the game, excellent, really good. I love the storyline. Uh, the voice acting, damn great. I enjoy the storyline. Um, <clears throat> The graphics, uh, the front, the, and the graphics don't look that good. Is now some people may ask me, uh, is it 60 frames per second? No, it's more like 30 frames per second. Um, at uh, either uh, 720p or 360p. Um, when I looked at it on um, my PS, when I was playing on my PS4, it looked like it was in three. It looked like it was um, it looked like it was in 720p. Okay, not 1080p at all. Um, they ported they ported this from the um, from the PS3, and and I agree with Pixel Solu uh, Pixel Solution said. That when he when he was watching my gameplay on live on stream or on the man, he said the game the the game looks like it's from a p from a PS3 a PS2, and I 100% agree with him on that. It does look it does look like it's from a PS from a PS2 instead of a PS3. That's how bad the graph the, the graphics looks, you know, and you know, but um. Was there lag in the game? Not really. The only thing I had problems with, there's only a few things I had problems with, and that is the um, the controls suck. The combat kind of sucks, you know. Um, the and the uh, controls definitely just suck when it comes to jumping. They got the jumping from the jumping from wall to wall. They got that from Mario 64. And other games like Mario 64, and they also copied the game off of Sekiro Shell Die Twice because there's a 
ninja woman who goes up and throws like a looks like a dart at a wall, and it's a message and tied to it with, with sometimes like a, a and as you as you can see here and read and and uh, it'll have like a uh, like something that heal, uh, heals half of your life or gives you a full life, you know, or or it looks like a headstone that 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 uh, once you die. Uh, it brings you back. It brings you back to life, just like just like Shakiro shall die twice, you know, and it gives you full health and everything. Your full health, your power, and full power and everything, and that's kind of pre it's pretty cool, you know. You go to a vendor and later on in the game, and it also has a. Um, he also sells one of those things that you can that you can do, you know. There on the golden beetles, you can look around, explore. Uh, Loot, uh, go around looting, um, pick up you know, and pick up weapons, armor, stuff like that. You know, and you can use some uh, some things. You have to you have to equip by uh, you have to manually equip like weapons or guns. You know, um, or or the ar and the armor pieces. You know, um, <clears throat> there's even keys that you have to look around and go and get. You know. And uh, it's pretty awesome. They have a maze in the game. That's really fucking annoying. They have a, a ghost piranhas, and that uh, so it looks like it's trying to it's trying to bite your dick off because of the way he the way he keeps jiggling, you know. And uh, it's kind of funny at, the, at first. It is kind of funny, but then it keeps going on doing it. Uh, it gets really annoying, you know, and. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I'm not gonna go there anymore with that. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, there's a there's a lot of problems in this, with this game, you know. And um, uh, some boss fights are fucking stupid and not needed at all. Like for example, you're fighting one boss, and uh, after you fight that one boss. And you think you're done? You you beat him, you know. Here comes another one after an uh, after uh, after the first one. After the first one, here comes the second one, and you haven't even saved it. If you die, you had to redo both of the bosses again. That's fucked up, and, that, and that's poorly done. Really poorly done. Um. Uh. Some uh, sometimes I have like ma magic, you know, uh, that you and you have to dodge, you know, and the bosses and the, the bosses shoot at you, you know. It's kind of stupid. There's a there's a, a boss fight you have to and do a rematch twice. Uh, um, first, uh, Rachel's sister, you have to fight uh, uh, fight her for the first time, and later on you have to do a rematch with her, you know. Some bosses you have to do the same thing with them. A rematch with them, pain in the ass, you know. <clears throat> um, um, there's no glitches in, as far as I know, I, uh, there, there's no glitches in the game. Um, as far as I know, the game never crashed on me. As far as I know, it never had on me, except for, um, Except for when I was live streaming on YouTube, and all of a sudden my live stream shut off on me like twice, and I don't know why. I don't know if it was on YouTube then, or if it was on Sony then, but yeah, that happened, uh, and that really pissed me off. Uh, some boss fights are easy and fun. Some of them are really pain in the ass, and it. Let me just say, if you think. Sekiro shall die twice. Push me over the edge. This game really did push me over the edge. Okay, now there is uh, three difficulties in the game. Okay, there's hero mode, which is easy mode. There's ninja, uh, ninja dog mode, which is normal, and there's hard mode. Okay, now thing is, I never did hard mode. I'm not that stupid, you know. Um, I did on normal mode at first, and I seen how hard this game really is on on normal. So, and it's and especially if you want a challenge, if you want a challenge, this game will definitely give you a challenge. Trust me on that. 
But uh, if you want to do, if you want, if you don't want to challenge and you want it to be easy, um, hero mode will be awesome for you. But only problem is, um, when you're on dog, uh, when you're on do uh, ninja dog mode, which is normal, uh, you get a map automatically in certain places. But um, and if you're in hero mode. You don't get no map at all. You have to see and actually find a map. And that kind of sucks on that, you know. Uh, now, later on, if, you die, if you're if you on hero mode and you die so many times and you can abandon, you can abandon the um, uh, the ninja way. And, and you want to know what that does. So when you do that, it restores your health, restores your power, and all that stuff. But in return, in return of doing that, it kind it it, it it changes the difficulty from easy mode to normal mode, which means it's going to be harder later on in the game as you progress into the game. And it's, it is good. It's enough if you have hair in your on your head. It's gonna it's gonna make you rip that son of a bitch out. That's how bad this game really is. It'll it'll, it'll push you over the edge. Uh, it uh. There's a boss fight that I had to do earlier to, uh, earlier today, and to be honest with you, <clears throat> I I was on he was on cam was on web on the webcam like webcam was on, and I actually showed everyone how bad my nerves was shot. My nerves was shot to hell. My heart was racing. I felt like I was having a heart attack. That's how bad that boss fight really was, and 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 all that, you know, because it was so it was stressful, because <clears throat> you had to go through all that all that shit just to get to the ball, uh, actual boss, which is just really fucking stupid. But um, there is a plot twist at the end of the game, which I'm not gonna discuss or anything, or who tell you who it is or anything. But uh, that really stunned, that really stunned the shit out of me on that. Um, but the swimming mechanic sucks. Really sucks. Um, you, you have to you have to stay in the underwater for so long. You have to stay in the water for so long, and then after you stay in the water for so long, uh, if you stay in the underwater for so long, you drown. Uh, there's a under and there's a there's like a sunken ship in a, in, a, in a certain area. You go into it and when you do, you find a, a, tre a treasure box. It has a um, an oxygen tank. You don't have when you when you when you find it, you don't have to equip it. Autom it automatically equips, which is awesome, which means you can see. It'll let you know that you can breathe underwater. As long as you can stay underwater as long as you want and breathe underwater as long as you want. And that's pretty damn cool, which means you can go wherever you want, stay in, in there as long as you want, you know, and explore, look around, and whatever, you know. You can go in, you can even go to corpses, like in, like in, there's like a ninja, a ninja, a ninja laying down dead on the ground. You can, you know, you, know, you can click on it, you know, and it'll, Tell you what, what, uh, what his mission was, and why, uh, and this, and that, you know. Um, I have a diary that you can read and everything. It has um, uh, sometimes uh, arrows sticking out of the body uh. that you can go pick up, and it doesn't matter what kind of arrows it is, and uh, <clears throat> all kind, all kinds of stuff, you know, which is pretty damn awesome, you know. Um, Motorcycle riders, oh my god, don't get me started with that. That was a pain in the ass. This game is called Ninja Guiding. It has everything to do with ninjas. It ain't got nothing to do with uh, uh, um, uh, ninjas being on motorcycles riding around, riding you over, you know. Uh, they also have tanks in the game. As you can blow up and everything, you have to take on the military, the military you know, because uh, they're because they're, apparently they're on the bad they're on the bad side, you know, and uh, all that gets all that stuff, you know. Some of uh, some of the stuff uh, you even have helicopter robots that comes around 
shooting at you, you know, uh, trying to blow you up, or a, 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 a soldier sitting here trying to blow you up, you know, you have to sit here and fight them, you know, uh, all that, I mean, all that good stuff, like, but like I said, the game is, is in between, there's a, it's a mixed bag between, it's a good game to play. If you're looking for a game to challenge you, this is the game to challenge you. If you're looking for a game that'll piss you off, push you over the edge, this is the game for you. If you're not looking for that, any of that, then this is not the game for you at all. Um, this uh, this game is like Mario. It, it has Mario and it has dark. Uh, it has uh, Sekiro, a uh, little bit of Dark Souls into it because it has a uh, uh, there, uh, there's like a boss fight, uh, boss fight where uh, where uh, where, uh, where uh, uh, Rachel's sister has a second form when you had to fight her the second time, you know, the rematch, you know, and her her bottom looks like a leg. It looks like um. It it looks like she it looks like her leg looks like put it looks like a pussy, okay. It looks like a scorpion. She looks like a scorpion because she um, she uh, she floats in the air, and, and sometimes if she gets a hold of you, she'll bite you and everything. Her put and if you if you know what I'm talking about when I say her a half of her body down there looks like a pussy, you know. Uh, there's a there's a boss fight. Uh, it looks like a a, a, a a crocodile or alligator, you know. And it's a big ass boss fight, you know. And all of a sudden it comes up, it comes on top of the ground, you know, and it and it folds over. And the 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 uh, stomach looks like a looks like a pussy. If you played uh, if you played if you played Dark Souls one, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and and. There's a there's another boss that look that, that rides a horse, and also they uh he also has a spear. Hmm. Now where did that boss fight come from? Boss uh, boss came from. Hmm. I wonder. Uh yeah. Sekiro Shadow died twice. That's right. If you are me and if you're like me and the Red Nation Roberts, you have already played. Uh, these two games, and you know exactly what I'm talking about, and knowing that too. But this game reminds me a little bit of Indiana Jones. It has a little bit of a scene where 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 you're uh, you're in a tunnel and you're running away from a ball that's trying to come on and trying to squash you. Uh, it has a little bit of Indiana Jones in it, and it also has a little bit of Tomb Raider in it as well. Um, but I will say this: I did enjoy all uh, some uh, most of this game. I really enjoyed it. If I did not love this game, I if I didn't enjoy it, I would not have played this game from start to finish. I will admit, I did from time to time. There was some th there was some places in the game to where I wanted to fucking quit. And I'm not kidding. I came close to rage quitting. Hell, at the final boss, uh, there's only 19 chapters in the game. When I got to the final, when I got to the final boss in the game, I came so close to rage quitting the game, and saying the hell with them, and the hell with them, and and the hell with this game. Um. So that's what I really thought about the game. Uh, you can. Uh, you can go around. This game is like Dark Souls. You can see here. You can fight the enemy uh, and get rid of enemies, you know. And you can uh, take the money and go to a, uh, go to a merchant guy and uh, upgrade your weapons to max. There's, there's, uh, you can only max it out all the way out to level three. Um, you can max it out all the way out to three and uh, to three if you want to and. Uh, Let's uh, see. Uh, on that, and on in, and also, if you find the cube, it looks like a looks like a ball, you know, a circle balls like different colors, you know. You can put that in your weapons, like uh, your magic, you know, like your fire, lightning, or or uh, ice storm, you know. You can put that in them, you know, level them up. 
pretty damn cool, and I really enjoy this, you know. And um, upgrade your we you can upgrade your weapons to like uh, so and so many weapons in the game, you know. That you can that you can find looking look for and stuff, you know. And um, yeah, overall, like I said, I really enjoyed this. I really did. So every now now let's get into the meat of it, okay? Everybody's gonna be wondering Is this game worth buying? Is this game worth buying and um is uh, and what do I uh, what do I rate it? Well everyone, what do I rate this game and what uh, and do I recommend anybody buying this game? Hmm, that is the real question. And that question is going to be answered right now. Alright everyone, so why do I rate this game? Oh boy, I know some people are going to like it and some people are going to be hating hate me for this. Um, and is it worth, is this game worth $60? Okay. In a way, no, it's not worth $60. But when you look at it this way, it does, it is worth $60, okay? Now, hold on, hold on, before I, I hear it. Before you say anything, um, the reason why I say this for is because uh, the reason why I say it is kind of it, in a way it is kind of worth uh, it, it is kind of worth sixty dollars is because you're not just getting Ninja Gaiden one, okay? You're not just getting one game. You're getting two games, not just two games. You're getting three games. You're getting three different games, uh, three, uh, Ninja Gaiden 1, 2, and 3 for $60. Now, I don't know about physical copy, I don't know about that. Now, physical copy, the disc version, I don't know, because I, <coughs> quite frankly, I haven't, I've, I've been to Walmart, but I have not seen, the, I didn't even know if they are actually selling it on, on disc or not, on physical copy. But I do know on digital, uh, you can get you can get it for sixty dollars, and there's three games. Okay, there's three Ninja Gaiden games. Okay, now um, I will say this: it is definitely if you, if, if you if you love to challenge yourself. Okay, as I said, if you love to challenge yourself and in, 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 into any games like this kind of game right here. And you love to braid, you love to bitch, you love to you love, you love um, to have games to piss you off. This is the game for you, okay? If you don't like none of that, you don't like the challenge or anything like that, stay away from it. It's not for you, okay? At all, okay? Now here's the thing, okay? I have played a little bit of Ninja Gaiden two and Ninja Gaiden three, okay? Now. On them two games, Ninja Gaiden 2 and 3, they actually do have autos, uh, auto saves, which means if you get the far, uh, if you go so far, like say for example, there's a first boss fight, you beat that first boss fight, and then after you beat the first boss fight, and you continue, and all of a sudden you, later on you wind up dying. It puts you right back where you, uh, where you last fought the boss fight, and you have to refight the boss fight again. No problem there at all. Okay, that's a great thing. Ninja Gaiden One, I mean Ninja Gaiden Two and Three has auto saves in it because I already checked and confirmed it. Okay, as for Ninja Gaiden One, it does not have uh, no auto saves in it, and when when they, when you when you're start first starting the game up. It doesn't even tell you it has an auto save in an auto save in the game whatsoever, and that is a poorly designed uh, piece of shit of uh, of a uh, of what they did to Ninja Gaiden One. 
Okay. Um, overall, I did enjoy Ninja Gaiden One. So if you're, if you, so if you, here's the thing is, okay, if you are wanting to play, yeah, if you, you're probably gonna say, yeah, but I don't want to play Ninja Gaiden One. I just want to play Ninja Gaiden Two and Three. Well, buy and then if you want, if you want Ninja, if you want to play Ninja Gaiden Two and Three. Go ahead and spend sixty dollars on the game. Okay, go ahead and buy it. You don't have to worry about installing a uh, Ninja Gaiden Two, a uh, Ninja Gaiden One at all. Just leave it on your console. All you have to do is download and install Ninja Gaiden Two and Three, and that's it. And you can sit here and play that and play them all you want and enjoy it. Okay. That's the thing. I would rec I, I would recommend that if you're if you're wanting if you're wanting to do something like that, okay. If not, then stay away. I re recommend you staying away from it, okay. Um. So, would I play Ninja Gaiden One again? Do a second run of it. All I can say is. Fuck you. That game can go straight to hell. <laughs> I would never, and I mean ever, play that piece of shit, a donkey crap game ever again. Ninja Gaiden 1 is one of the terrible game ever. They could have improved it when they when they put it on the PS4. They didn't bother to do shit. They just wanted that money, money, yeah, yeah, money, money, yeah, yeah. That's all they want. That's all they wanted, and that's what they got. Okay. So yeah, Ninja Guy, uh, I would never play that. And Ninja Guy 1, I would never play again. Now, Ninja Guy 2 and 3, I don't know. I'm not going to do a review for those because I ain't beat them yet. Quite frankly, I don't know when I'm going to be playing them right now. Because there, there are new releases coming out. And I want to play them. And I know all my viewers and my subscribers are wanting to see that as well. And quite frankly, I do too. I want to play them as well. I want y'all to experience it along with me. Okay. So, what am I? Despite all the shit I had to go through with this game of Ninja Gaiden One, despite you get to play it as him, and you get to play as her in certain levels and in certain chapters. What do I think about? Uh, the, and that also the audio sounds the audio sounded really good. Voice acting is really damn good, awesome. I really enjoyed the voice acting. Uh, the soundtrack was really outstanding. I love the soundtrack. You know, uh, even though the, the copyright music I had turned off, I even I even turned it back on when I wasn't live streaming or recording it. And the soundtrack it sounded really awesome. I really enjoyed it, you know. Um, um, the fighting mechanics sucks, kind of sucks. Um, sometimes the controls sucks on um, Ninja Gaiden, really terrible. I uh, didn't like it at all. They could have improved it, but they didn't. Um, but overall, uh, what do I give it? Um, I'm going to give this game one thumbs up. I'm giving it four stars. And I'm going to give it I'm giving it a, se a, a seven and a half out of ten. Seven uh, seven point five out of ten. 
that's what I'm giving. Now I know Pixel. Hopefully Pixel won't say it, but I'm hoping uh, more likely he will, along with everybody else, probably sit here and say, "Well, that means you didn't like it uh, or love it." No, I. You got it all wrong. I enjoyed it. Cause if I didn't love it, I wouldn't have played it. I would. I would. I would. I would. Uh, I would have gotten chapter seven or something like that, and then said, "Fuck it," you know. I would have quit a long time ago. Trust me on that. <laughs> okay. And uh, so yeah. So post. Uh, so thank you all for watching this review. I really do thank you for it. Post your comments on this video. Let me know what you all think about this review. If you enjoyed my review, hit that like. Uh, hit that like button. Subscribe and share and turn on all notifications. If you did not like the review. You can all come kiss the rock's ass. I'm kidding. You can all come kiss the dragon soul's ass. <laughs> and that's the bottom line. Just don't dragon souls say so. Ba -da -ba -da 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 -da. <laughs> Have a good night, everyone. Dragon Souls signing out. You fucking serious? Oh my fucking god. This is not fair. I wonder, can I even do this? Are you fucking serious? I can't do that. No, it won't let you use it. That's bullshit. I got an idea off on that too. I'm okay. I'm okay.
Gather! Finally! Please tell me no, don't tell me there's a sa Are you fucking serious? I can do now. 